Aside from our cable assemblies, which we're pretty famous for bringing each year, we developed a new product um, for motorsport safety on circuits to complement the Code 60 flag. And it was launched yesterday at the show, and it's, and it's, it's called our Code 60 virtual safety car. Okay, so this is the Code 60 virtual safety car demoed on a, a classic looking race, race car. And what we, what we have, we have a driver indicator system here, the rain light switch. On the rear of the car would be a rain light. And in this case, we've got a dual colored rain light. And then on the sides, we have the side indicators. And in a race situation, the code 60 flag would come out and the driver has to recognize to the world he's seen the code 60 flag. So he activates the system. And straight away, we've got two flashing red lights, which demonstrates that we're going way above the desired 60 kph. So the driver would modulate his speed until he gets the green, a green or, or red. And what we're doing now on the back, or externally on the car, we've got flashing lights. And that indicates to marshals, to clerks of courses, to other competitors that that car is doing the correct speed. If it goes too fast, the lights go to static. How do we turn it off? Well, if the driver sees a green flag, goes back to racing, he just goes above, back to race speed, and the system turns itself off. The beautiful safety feature of this product, though, is on standing starts, um, the GPS unit knows the car's stationary, and on the grid start, waiting for the red lights to go off, all cars would have this flashing yellow warning light on the back. And uh, if the car doesn't get away, that stays on. But if the car does get away and gets above 15 kph, the light goes off. And as a driver, seeing cars in front with that light just aids the marshals waving yellow flags that as a hazard ahead. What do you think the potential is then for improving safety on, on tracks, on, as you say, on these kind of club races? Oh, it's, it's massive potential. We, you, motor racing is, is dangerous, but we don't need to make it dangerous for p other people working on the tracks. We shouldn't react to things going wrong, we should be proactive, and I think that's what this device does. You, you turn up each year with your, your famous cables, but tell me a bit, a bit about them. What, what are you showing this year? We've got a, a range of motorsport harnesses here. I mean, motorsport for us is 15 to 20 percent of our turnover. We are involved in many, many different market sectors. I mean, we supply Google cables in California, but one of the sexiest projects we've worked on recently is on the Ben Ainsley America's Cup Challenge. Sounds like an exciting project. What were the challenges getting involved in that? Delay, times, schedules. I mean, in, in their case, they made five boats in total. So it, it, it's just good fun working with a company who's very developing all the time and we're used to that we're from the F1 teams we work with. And just one for me on, on the show itself, how are you finding being here again and uh, you know, the conversations you've been having with other people who've come today? Well this is our 11th straight year of being here and uh, I find it a very good show because the, the quality of the people visiting is very high. It's not a consumer show, it's business to business and uh, in fact we've done it for 11 years shows it's worth to us.